done with your tweets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before the season, you referred to Mo Spates as a happy-go-lucky, beautiful soul. Um, could you just, uh, with his return, regular season return tonight, could you reflect on the two years that you got to coach him and, and also what do you think he's been able to acclimate? Yeah, well, Mo's one of my favorite people that I've ever been around. He's just got a smile on his face all the time. He loves to play. Uh, he loves to shoot. He's a phenomenal shooter. And um, he was... Uh, such a pro Brett, Brett. for us the last couple of years. Um, he made my job so much mm -hmm. easier because um, you know I'd play him one game and I wouldn't play him the next. And it, everything was based on matchups or what happened in the game. He, he hardly ever had a, a regular spot in the rotation, and yet he just came to work every day um, with a smile on his face and and. Uh, Played with great joy and, and um, helped us win a ton of games. I mean, I, there were so many games where we were stuck in the water, and then all of a sudden he, you know, he makes five jumpers in a row and breaks the game open. And uh, so we uh, we love him all around here, and we're happy for him that he's having a, a really good year with the Clippers. Hey, so we did a couple of tweets related to some decisions Trump has made uh, the past couple of days. Do you have any thoughts on the wall or anything that's you know kind of percolating right now? I do. <laughs> that you're open to talk to, discuss with us? Uh, not right now. I think, you know, game and night, we're going to lock in on the game. It's, uh, I'll just say that what's happening is really scary and disconcerting. Coach, how did you evaluate DeAndre in an all-star ballot? And what did you think about him making it? Uh, he absolutely deserved it. And, um, you know, he was, uh, to me, one of the automatics um, when you consider uh, what he does night in and night out. The guy never misses a game. Um, the Clippers have had so many injuries over the last couple of years. This year, again, you know, with both Blake and Chris, it seems like you know one or the other has been out, um, and the, the constant there has been DeAndre. And um, they keep winning, and that's a testament to obviously to their team and to Doc. I mean, they do a, a great job of just keeping the train moving forward. Um, but I, I really believe that uh, DeAndre is one of the reasons for that. He's, uh, he's just, you can count on him every single night, and uh, I love the way he plays. Well, Steve, you've been through a number of different things over the past couple of years. Is there, can there still be a danger in facing a team like this without their leader? I mean, going into the game mentally knowing that they won't have Chris out there. Yeah, it's always uh, dangerous when you play a team without their leader. There's a, there's a danger of letting down. Uh, I don't think that will happen. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like uh, you know we know the Clippers. We know how capable they are. Whether they have guys in or out, they're they're always uh, a really tough team to beat. So um, I think we'll be ready. Ralph, back to this point, Steve. Uh, most Bates was was not a three point shooter. Then, like at the All Star break or yeah. something, he was. Well, what happened there? You know, when I when I got this job two and a half years ago, I, I went to him and. I said, do you think you can take one more step out and uh, and, and become a three-point shooter? Because he, you know, I watched a ton of tape of him when I got the job, and he was making one 22-footer after another. And um, he was a pick-and-pop guy, obviously. I think he uh, had a big game seven against the Clippers uh, the previous year, had 10 or 12 points in limited minutes, had some huge shots. But he was never outside that line. and. Uh, I just I just asked him what he thought, and uh, that first year he wasn't very comfortable with it, and then last year he really took it to heart. I think he spent a lot of time uh, in that off season, you know, two summers ago, really working on his three point shot, and uh, he just seemed to get more and more comfortable with it last year, and uh, and now this year it's um, it's, it's like automatic. He's going to spot up back there, and uh, you just can't give him an opening. Steve, given Kevin, Draymond, and Clay all played in Olympics. They got the all-star thing coming up. Uh, are you looking, and you, now you've got Steph maybe, you know, with the quad. Are you looking, just knowing this schedule coming up, to, to get some games for them, to get some days off for, for those guys specifically? We, we don't have anything planned, but um, we're monitoring them uh, constantly. And um, I can see that happening at some point, for sure. Our schedule's been very favorable the last month. We've had a ton of home games. Um, we finally had a stretch here on the road where we where we played I think you know five games and eight nights whatever it was. Um, so as we go forward and our schedule gets tougher, 
uh, we will absolutely consider that. Um, and again, it, it's something we have to monitor day by day. Um, sometimes the schedule has nothing to do with it, and a guy just gets banged up, and, and you need to, need to rest him a little bit. So we'll keep uh, keep looking at that, and um, you know, do the best we can to, to keep them fresh and ready down the stretch. Steve, after uh, <coughs> with a great win-loss record in regular season, people, I think, in basketball knew you're not going to do it again, and yet the fans say, oh, what a loss. In other words, you win five or six or seven in a row. What's wrong with the Warriors? I mean, do you get that uh, feeling from people that uh, any loss is a disappointment? I don't know. I've, I felt that way earlier in the season. Um, I don't know if I've... If I felt that the other day in Miami um, when we lost, I, I, I feel like as a group uh, we've come a long way. I think we're a lot better now than we are we were a month ago. Um, whether people recognize that, um, I'm not sure. I don't. I, it doesn't bother me one way or the other. Um, but it's a pretty good formula: win seven in a row, lose one. <laughs> we'll take it. You resting? No plans. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate that.